few months ago, I had a chance to meet uh, this guy right here, Tim Dietrich. Tim was a pastor for 35 years in Des Moines, Iowa, and you told me it was 10 degrees today in Des Moines. So welcome to Georgia, Tim. Uh, but uh, I'll tell you why Tim's up here. You know, as, as Amy and I get older, not old, but older, uh, we have been thinking about, Lord, how do we finish well? That we were, some of our thoughts and objectives have changed, and we want to finish well, but we also want to leave behind a legacy for our kids, for the next generation. And part of that in, includes just what we do with our finances and so much of walking into these seasons of life that we're in and many of you are in is just how do I make sure I leverage this all right and not mess things up, do anything stupid. And uh, so Tim, who was a pastor for 35 years, stepped into this space and you work for Mortarstone, Tim, which I'm so grateful that you're here today because um, one of the things we've done is we part we're partnering with you to help us figure out what to do in the seasons of life that you and I are both in, and uh, how, do we, how do we leverage with the things that God's put in our hands? So would you talk about that for a moment? Sure. Thank you, Pastor Brian. It is an honor to be with you today and uh, just to be a witness to the God-sized vision that you have to change your community and your world. Uh, I am so blessed to be with you today just to watch and to see the hand of God bless your church. One of the things at Mortarstone that we want to do is to help you create your own legacy. How do we do that? Legacy is something that happens when we bring our values and our valuables together. That's how we create a legacy. This is more than just leaving what I have to my kids. That's a part of it. But how do I transfer the values that I have for the causes that break my heart, for the things that I'm passionate about. There are three things that we can help you do. Number one, we can help you create a generosity plan. A generosity plan is where you sit down and work through what you want to do with the blessings that God has given to you. God has not called us to be a reservoir. God has calls, called us to be a river. Like Abram in Genesis chapter 12, God told him, I will bless you so that you will be a blessing to others. So a generosity plan helps us think through that. But before we can do a generosity plan, we have to deal with two quick questions. Number one, am I content? How much is enough? The second question is, am I secure? Do I have enough to last? And when we begin to deal with those very difficult questions, it then puts us on the path to create a generosity plan, which will then impact our legacy. The third thing we would want to help you think through is, how do I want to enrich the lives of my heirs, my kids? As you think about your estate plan and your estate design, one of the things that we have to consider is, is what I'm going to do for my kids going to empower them or enable them? And is there a way that I can take all the blessings that God has given me and be able to give to kingdom causes? The way that we can do that is through tax-advantaged giving. There are three kinds of gifts that you can give charitably to help you resolve ordinary income tax, capital gains tax, and even estate tax. The first is a gift that helps now. That's an outright gift of a cash or an asset. The second kind of gift you can give is a gift that helps later. That would be a charitable gift through a bequest through your will or your trust. The third kind of gift you can give is a gift that provides income, where you would basically exchange an asset for a tax deduction and a lifetime guaranteed stream of income. All of these things come together, and I'd love to talk with you about how God is speaking to your life and how we can be a part of God's leading. Yep. Thanks for being here, Tim. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. So Tim's going to be out in the atrium. Uh, there'll be a table set up out there. I know he met with several people after the first service, and I know some of you may be thinking, a little awkward to have a money talk right in the middle of all this, but listen, all of you have money. And you're not taking it to the grave with you. So you better figure out what you want to do with it while, while you're here alive. So we want to help you do that as a service to you. So let's pray together. Father, 
Uh, before we dive into the word of God today, um, and we open up your word, Lord, this holy word that speaks to our hearts in such a powerful way, as we jump back into the book of Mark, uh, we just pray that you will speak to us in a powerful way right now. Lord, um, just help our eyes to be open, help our ears to be open to what it is you want to say to us today, in Jesus' name, amen, amen. 